In Davis County, leaders from across Utah meeting at Antelope Island State Park today to announce a $13 million upgrade to the park. Yeah, ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner has that story for us. The chirping of birds may soon be accompanied by the sounds of construction at Antelope Island State Park. It's an exciting time to realize that finally, after uh, this one was first built in 1996, we're going to get it revitalized and expanded. Uh, almost triple the size of what it is now. Spence Kennard is talking about the visitor center. Our visitation at this island is now over a million visitors annually and continues to grow. This building is going to help us host those folks that want to come out to the island and we're going to look towards two million visitors and uh, hopefully we give them a fantastic place to come out and experience Antelope Island. To get the new center, officials turn to Utah State Representative Stephen Handy. Because I've spent a lot of time out here on the island herding the buffalo every October and you could see the shrinking lake. Representative Handy helped get 13 million dollars approved for the park. Creating more space to host more than one million visitors every single year is just part of the reason for the expansion. It'll also create opportunities for more research to learn about the needs of the Great Salt Lake. Everyone has known we have dire problems here with the shrinkage of the lake. We need to study the lake and, and we need a facility to bring uh, researchers from Weber State University, the University of Utah, Westminster. Construction could begin by the end of the year. When we approach a building such as this, we want to connect it to the place that it sits on and, and the people and the history of the island. Leaders hope Utahns will use the park to learn more about the lake. It's just that short distance for such a magnificent view and opportunity that you can't get anywhere else. From Antelope Island State Park, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.